Greetings everyone. It's Monday, the beginning of another working week. And as I continue to do short videos in response to the comments and questions that came after the domestic violence event on the 31st of October. Today, I want to talk about the pros and cons of the shields that we wear the masks that we wear rather not shields masks that we wear uh people when you say masks they think of a physical actual mask that you put in front of you to shield you from the other side but masks in this case can be anything that you do or don't do in order to cover up your secret i had several masks that i wore this hair for instance as much as it looks nice and beautiful for me it was a mask dressing up looking pretty looking glammed up as much as it may have looked beautiful and appealing to many for me it was a mask how was it a mask well, when you look at me like this and I'm smiling and I'm talking to everybody and I'm protecting people and I'm standing up for people, would you imagine that I have a sordid secret hidden behind what you can see? No. And that is why it becomes a mask. I convinced just about everybody for as long as I was wearing these masks for as long as i was using these masks that everything was okay that everything was hanky dory but it wasn't now when we look at the positives of it it's that yes it convinces people of what you want them to be convinced of and then it temporarily it is good because you don't have to deal with people asking you why do you look so sad why do you look so lost why do you look so down? Why are you crying? Why aren't you taking care of yourself, your personal hygiene and all that? Why aren't you working? Why, why, why? It stops all that. So it becomes good for a short while. I say for a short while, short while is... I guess it depends on each individual how long you call short while to me short while is as long as you are able to maintain it without feeling too much strain from it okay and then we talk about the negatives the negative is that instead of people seeing your struggles and availing themselves to helping you they are just going to believe that you are okay, so you don't need help. So they will pass you by while your heart bleeds, while your heart is calling out to say, can somebody please help me? I don't like this. The other disadvantage is that if you look like you've got it all shaped up and organized, People then want to come to you to ask for help. If they're struggling, then they see you doing so well, maintaining yourself, managing yourself, caring yourself well. They want to emulate you, so they will come to you with their problems. And trust me, we all have problems. And a lot of us have learned to reach out. A lot of us that actually do the reaching out, reach out to those people they believe have got it covered. They believe they know what they're doing. They believe they will be able to share their secret of success. So they'll come to you seeking your help. And because you want to maintain that appearance that everything is okay, you are going to go out of your way to do all you can to help them and they'll walk off with the same inclination that everything is okay with you when it's not so how does that become negative 
it's draining being there for john mary susan peter james grace whenever they come to you even when you're having an extremely bad day and having to smile through it and having to listen to all their problems and maybe even sometimes thinking well you think you've got a problem if only you knew what my problem was but then being unable to actually share it because then that means breaking the secret it's draining and in the long run it will impact on your mental health it will impact on your stability it will cause you to have maybe a nervous breakdown or you might have what they call a burnout some people call it an episode by trying to be polite but you might actually have a mental uh, breakdown you might then sink into depression you might then sink into various other mental health issues that come with it i mean splits personalities some people call it personality disorder that can set in and that's not to your benefit it might seem like it's a benefit to others as well but it's short-lived it's short term in the long run it becomes detrimental to your surrounding that's your community your family yourself and i'm sure you can see where the ripple effects are going it can go as far as the economy of the city the economy of the community and if that's affected we are talking countrywide so again i say if you're gonna dress up that's fine dress up because you like dressing up not because you're covering a sordid secret have a lovely monday and i hope the rest of your week this week is going to be superb thank you very much bye